My name's John Davis and in this video I'm going to give you an honest review of the Video Scribe animation software. I'm going to lay it all out, the good, the bad and the ugly. On top of that, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial showing you how Video Scribe works and how I've used it with no prior experience in order to catapult my YouTube channel. Well, first of all, what is Video Scribe? Video Scribe is one of the leading whiteboard animation packages out there. It's used by a host of different people. Marketers, designers, teachers, content creators. You install the application locally and get to work creating videos that are perfect for explaining your message and telling stories. Whether your target audience is the corporate world or the millions of people logging into YouTube every day. It's believed that in comparison to a talking head video, a whiteboard explainer is 15% more likely to get your message across. Also, let's face it, if you're anything like me, you'd prefer to watch a quick video than speak to someone and let them explain something to you. And for all you fact lovers out there, here's some facts about Video Scribe. There's 4,000 plus videos created each and every day using Video Scribe with 2 million users worldwide. Whiteboard explainer videos are two times more likely to lead to an actual sale. In Video Scribe, there are 6,000 plus images in the library. 52% of the people using it are using it for marketing. And the reason being is because a whiteboard explainer video is three times more likely to be shared. So you might ask, why did I buy Video Scribe for my YouTube channel? So I've been building my channel for the last year, testing different video styles and strategies, trying to find something that suited me. In all honesty, I prefer the process of creating whiteboard explainers than I do talking head videos. I think they stay more engaging, which leads to better YouTube starts and channel growth. Some people do their entire channel on Video Scribe. Some do their entire channel doing talking head videos. Me, personally, I like a mixture. It's more strings to my bow. So let's talk about all the juicy goodness of Video Scribe and why you may want to consider it yourself. Let's start with the positives, the good. First of all, Video Scribe is extremely simple to learn. It's a drag and drop editor, but a simple layout makes it easy to familiarize yourself and start getting faster at creating those videos. You don't need any prior experience or technical know-how to get started. You'll pick it up really quickly. It's a really effective way of teaching by storytelling. It keeps people engaged longer and guides them through whatever your message is. Now, I love the flexibility around Video Scribe. It uses locally installed fonts on your machine, which unlike some other animation softwares, means you aren't limited to the default fonts. If it's installed on your machine, you can then import it into Video Scribe as well, which is a really good feature. But that also applies to images and music. There's a really good selection available already, but they also give you the ability to upload your own images and GIFs. So if you ever look at any of my other videos, you'll see I'm constantly adding in my own custom photos and images. Whilst it's not the cheapest service out there, in terms of what you get for your money, I think Video Scribe is really good value. It's a pretty reasonable price for what you're getting. I've paid much more for software that does a lot less. In terms of subscribers and watch time, it's already been a great investment for me. And lastly, and this one might sound a little bit odd, I love that effect of camera movement rather than just the page being wiped, which was one of my negatives when I trialled Doodly. It just felt much more static, whereas Video Scribe have got it spot on. So is Video Scribe all singing, all dancing? Is there anything wrong with it? Yes, there is. And I'm going to go into a couple of things that I would like to see improved in future versions of Video Scribe. Now, this isn't the worst thing in the world, but I'm not mad keen on the audio section. What it gives you is the ability to press a button and add your audio over the top. The thing is, if you're anything like me, when you're doing your voiceovers, it's going to take lots of different takes, lots of stuttering, lots of start and stop, and then editing them together. And Video Scribe doesn't really give you that flexibility. Whereas for me, talking isn't a strong point. So what I like to do is record my audio elsewhere and just import it. Now, one thing that would be nice is the ability to import videos. That's not possible, but you can work around this by using a third-party editor, and I blend my videos into the explainer video within that. So it's an extra step in the process, but it can be done. You just can't do it all within Video Scribe. Now, the biggest gripe is probably rendering times, and I've seen this across the forums as well. I'd say if it gets any complaint, it's just how slow it is to actually create your video at the end when you're exporting it. But I wouldn't say that's a criticism of Video Scribe. I'd say that's a general feedback that you get from most editors, especially when you're trying to export something that's in quite high definition. So in summary, I think Video Scribe's a really fun and effective tool. It's a great way to connect with your audience, whether that's colleagues or YouTubers around the world. It simplifies things and keeps people watching. There are a lot of great features, and from what I can see, a team that are working hard to keep improving Video Scribe. 
For me, it's well worth the investment, but keep watching and I'll give you a quick behind the scenes of how I've created this video so you can see for yourself exactly what you're going to be getting. So what we're going to do now is just have a real quick demo and a quick look around video scribe. So first of all, this is the main canvas. So as you can see, you can just kind of click and drag and drop things around. You can use these, um, these kind of corner points to resize and you can use the arrow to rotate. So pretty basic. If we right click and we've got various different options in here, but the main one is if we just click on properties, this gives us any extra options. So these various things that we can do, we can edit the text. This is where we type in what we want to show on screen. We can change the font, we can change the color. We can even manage fonts, which I think is one of the best features. So anything that you've got installed on your machine, you can actually add into here as well. So you can use custom fonts. You're not limited by what the software actually sets. And if we just move across here, we've got various different options. Graphics filters just adds a little bit of extra effects. Drawing options is uh, different types of animations that you can do. So you can either have the, the words actually drawn out, which I'll show you here. You can actually move in, which means that from an angle, that word would actually move in. So we can just select this direction from the top. We can change it to fade in, which does exactly like it says on the tin. And just fades in. So various different options. Now if we change it back to draw, we've then got this drawing hand option in the top right hand corner. So if we click on that, and you've got tons of different options in here. So there's different pen types, there's uh, different kind of uh, skin tones, different effects. We can even just change it to a pen. So if we just change that to the pen, and if you look at the top right hand corner, these are some of our controls for like playback. So you've got a button there that will play your video right from the start and you've got one that will show you the exact kind of sequence that you're on. So we've got this highlighted and we're just going to press play. So you can see there the different effects that we got by changing that hand. So at the top we've got various other options as well where we can add music, we can add a voiceover as well, some audio into our uh, video. We can also change the background colour, so let's click on that. And there's various different things we can do here, so we can change the colour, put it something nice and bright, and we can also add like a slightly different effect as well, so I'll just pick one of these just to show you. There's also a vignette, so we can actually set a vignette so that the corners are basically darkened. So there you go. So different kind of colours and different effects that you can use as well. You can also change the default option for the hand. Now on the bottom, this is our timeline. So this is every single kind of component of our video. So whether it's um, an image or some text, it's all in this bottom bit here. So to move things around and change the sequence, you literally just click and drag and move it around. It also has a timeline there to give you a bit of an idea of where you're up to. Now one other thing I should show you in them properties we're in before as well. Do you see at the bottom here? Now these are pretty important to be honest. You've got different settings here. One of them is the animation. In other words, that's how long that actual uh, that component takes to animate. So it's currently set at two seconds, which is my preferred default. The pause is once that animation's finished, how long does it just sit and wait? And the transition is how long it takes to transition into the next component. So you can make it quicker, you can make it slower. You've got different options that you can do. And there's other options in here as well, but this isn't a deep dive. I just want to give you a quick overview. So what you'll notice is this is the video that you've just been watching, minus the orange background. But if I zoom out, you'll get an idea of how this canvas works. So as you can see now, there's all the different parts of this video that you've just watched are all in here. So it's like it's one big canvas and you basically move around it which is why, why you get that really good camera movement effect because it is that's exactly what it's doing it's moving up down left right you can see there there's the start of my video and it's just kind of moving through a sequence so here you can see one of my previous slides and like I say if you kind of click and move it around it's as easy as that a couple of the main options that you've got in the bottom right hand corner is you've got this for adding a new image and there's tons of options in here. Now what I generally do is I upload a lot of my own images. So I click on this icon in the bottom left hand corner and I upload images. That's probably why the rendering time is a bit slower because I'm putting quite big image files into that as well which is obviously going to affect the rendering time. But there's loads of different categories, um, over 6,000 images in there as well. Now there are some premium ones as well so we'll just do a quick search. We'll just search for the word house and we'll tick this so you can see the difference. 
So any that have got this little red kind of banner across the top right hand corner, that means they're a premium image. So when you order video scribe, you can pay for premium images if you, if you wish. There's plenty of images in there as default. And like I say, you can upload your own, which is what I generally do. Now lastly, because I want this to be a really quick demo, you've got this text button as well. Generally, I add images and text and then I just kind of move things around and change the, the sequence of them. But again, you've got your text in here, type what you want, choose your font, choose your color, all done. So I hope that video helped you. I'm going to create some more tutorials for Video Scribe and other leading marketing tools out there as I continue to build my YouTube channel. I'm going to put some links in the description, but if this is the type of thing that interests you, hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.